What's going on everybody? I'm Mark with the Erie Better Beer Bureau and uh, we're doing another blind review for you. And today we have one from uh, Funky Buddha and it is their French Toast Double Brown Ale and it comes in at 8.8% and uh, they're out of Oakland Park, Florida. So uh, you've seen the pour and we're going to have Pat and Maury come out and uh, let you know what they think about it. Who made breakfast? <laughs> oh. <laughs> this smells like French toast in a glass. <laughs> with a side of sausage with maple syrup drizzled all over it. This is insane. No? Yeah, it does smell like French toast, yeah. man. That French is toast with maple syrup. I even get a little bit of egg on it. <laughs> <laughs> Scrambled over medium? What do you think? Wow. Over easy. That is just an insane aroma. Mark, <laughs> Mark, I don't say this all the time, but I really appreciate you. Yeah, I try. <laughs> I love maple syrup. I love maple in it. I know you do. It's an insane aroma. I failed with the last one, so I thought I'd make uh, sure. Really? You know, I, 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 I'm not exaggerating. This smells like French toast with maple syrup. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. and, it, and I mean, if you were blindfolded and smelled this beer, you'd be hard pressed to think that it was beer. No. You, like, you'd think someone put a breakfast plate in front of it. Yes. I can't pick out. I don't like getting hurt if I don't start drinking this beer. Mm. Well, it tastes a little more like beer than it smells. Yeah. All those elements are still there, but they're dialed back from the intense aroma. I'm getting a lot of porter characters, so I'm pretty sure this is a porter. It seems like a porter. In, I mean, that would be my guess. But, I mean, it has a nice mild roastiness on it, almost like a toasted malt roastiness on it. And But that maple character really comes through, and especially on the back end, I'm still it tasting finishes, maple. It finishes with yeah. the maple. Like, I can taste it right from the, even on the front end to the middle, but it lingers like a sweet maple finish. Like I even feel it on my lips like I just ate something with maple syrup. <laughs> there is a nice like this kind of balanced malt backbone mm -hmm. in the middle where you know it's probably the least intense but then that finish like you said it, it lingers you can that maple flavor lingers. Yeah that up front, you get a nice, actually a really pleasant toasted roasted malt, you know, and, it, and it's, it's, it's not really thick on the mouthfeel, it's kind of medium thin, which for a porter isn't, isn't really no, all that's out of okay. character. Mm -hmm. um, there is that, that just barest hint of, of, of dark burnt roastiness up front, which it desperately needs to, to counteract yeah, that it's, maple flavor. It's, you know, the maple flavor is sweet. But it definitely stops short of cooling. There, you know, there, like you said, it's there not is. A, it's not a sugar bomb. By no, it's right. not. All right, I'm guessing this is a porter. I'm guessing it's aged on maple. If it doesn't have straight maple syrup directly added to it, right? Or brewed with maple sugar, which even we've done that before. Right. We're getting some cool maple. You're porters. welcome. Thank you, Mark. It, it is quite tasty. Um, if anything, I wish there was just a little more of that roasty bitterness from from the, from the porter to just balance it out a little bit because I'm a fan of balance. But the maple flavor, I love it. It is it is not like some other maple beers that we've had where it says maple and we taste it and we're like, I don't really. I mean, it's kind of sweet, but there's not a whole lot of maple. No, there is maple flavor in this beer and it's delicious. I'm really liking this beer. I'm gonna have to give it a four and a quarter out of five. Part of that may be my bias towards maple, but it's also a real easy drinking, real tasty beer. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna judge it as a porter too, because that's kind of what it seems like to me. Um, you know, the maple flavor is so intense on this beer that I don't even know if they added real maple syrup, which is kind of what I hope, or if they used a maple extract here. But it's it's intense, but it's tasty. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give it an even four out of five. I really like this beer. Mark, tell, tell me know what this beer is. is. All right. Well, you were right about one thing. The French toast. Okay. But wrong about the style. 
Should have known it was Funky Buddha. <laughs> funky okay. Buddha's French Toast Double Brown Double Ale. Double Brown Ale. Wow. And it's called French Toast. Yes, it we is. We spent the first three minutes of this video talking Cinnamon about Cinnamon and maple French syrup today. added to the beer. And I want to wow. wow. yeah. thank Josh Blum for hooking me up with this bottle. Thanks, That's Josh. That's great. Yep. Holy. Thank you, Mark, and thank you. You know, and it is the, along the lines of a last snow for those of you who've had yeah. it, you know. It, it's that intense. Like, last snow, there's, you know, that coconut and and everything blows yeah. up in your face. The Same with this beer. So. This is almost 9% alcohol. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wouldn't guess that. Yeah, 8.8. Yeah, yeah, All right. Thanks, Mark. Until next time. Cheers. Cheers.